And apologies this morning from the head of a charity that received hundreds of thousands of dollars from Jay-Z's Rock Nation and the NFL. She's now explaining a picture showing her cutting off a teenager's dreadlocks, which has caused something of a social media firestorm. Maybe see Zachary Keish is here with more. Zachary, good morning. Good morning to you. The deal connecting the NFL and Jay-Z, one of the most revered people in the black community, was in part for social currency. In many ways, this was the first view of an initiative that was championed around an idea that they could and should do more to address racial inequality. It was a blockbuster deal that dominated the headlines. Jay-Z's entertainment company, Rock Nation, a hand-picked partner for the NFL's big announcement that they were getting serious about social justice. Yeah, I think it's time to go into uh, actionable items. Making good on that promise, earlier this week, the league and Rock Nation announced they'd gift $400,000 to a pair of Chicago organizations. But it's the optics of that activism that has struck a nerve. The Crushers Club, a nonprofit operating since 2013, on the south side of Chicago, offering boxing, music, and other programs, was given a $200,000 grant. This morning, old tweets from its founder have her on the defense. In a now-deleted tweet, Sally Hazelgrove posted these photos in 2016, saying, Another crusher let me cut his dreads off. It's symbolic of change and their desire to have a better life. I need to be much more cognitive and cognizant about what I say. I need to not be careless when I use social media. And my intention is never to offend anyone. Online, many have been critical, including filmmaker Ava DuVernay. I'd like to have a conversation with you and those young people about dreads and desire and dreams, about dreads and a better life. Shame on anyone supporting this full-on nonsense. Rock Nation and the league have not commented. But yesterday, Kobe, the man in that picture, defending the organization and Hazel Grove. At this point, it was never about culture with my locks. It was just a, a hairstyle to me. Sally's here. She helps the community. and Everybody knows that. Black people hear the message all the time that we are inherently wrong, that the things that are natural to us are wrong and unacceptable by society. She needs to conduct herself with a level of cultural responsiveness as an authority figure. Remember, this all started with Colin Kaepernick. Some have been skeptical of the deal's real impact on the issues and people Kaepernick was advocating for. It's interesting, the head of the charity, her, her intent was there, but what it's turned into, seriously, some big issues for the NFL. Yeah, absolutely, and, and obviously there's been a lot of attention on this. Yes. So certainly the idea that they have been vetted and this is somebody that they went with. And, and, and just the idea, uh, I think the optics of that photo might suggest that the biggest deterrent for young African-American boys reaching their potential would be be their hair and not so many of these other systematic issues that we know so much about. That's a great point. Zachary Keish, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.